13th seeded Hiller Softball hosted 20th seeded Milton in the first round of the South Division I sectional playoffs. Bottom of the first, the Hillers got the hitting started. We'll get a piece of this one over to center field. It goes. Here comes Whalen. One to nothing Hillers, and Holly will stop at second. An RBI double. A Walkwood score run. And this is hit up the left side. That drops in fair. Here comes Holly. And here comes another run. And two runs will score for the Hillers. A two RBI single for Alyssa McIntyre. Going on contact. Down low. And the runner from third going to try to score. The flip is too late. And it's four to nothing. Hillers. Alyssa McIntyre comes around. Great base running by Alyssa McIntyre. Certainly was. Four runs score in the inning. The Hillers added another run in the bottom of the second and a whole lot more in the bottom of the third. Holly swings up the left side. It goes. One run is in. Here comes Whalen. The throw is going to be off the mark. Two runs will score. And it is a two RBI hit for Katie Holly. Score that a two RBI single. She advances the second on the throw in. And it's an eight nothing lead for the Hillers. Tara Kester up to third. Fourth seed, fifth north. Up high, and almost out of the ballpark. And now Holly is gonna score. Lady Holly comes around to score on the very wild pitch. It's 10 nothing Hillers. Five more runs in the third. It was a 10 nothing lead for the Hillers heading to the bottom of the fifth. And Jillian Cedia ended the game with a boom. Right up in the pitch. And she gets a piece of this one to the fence. See you later. Goodbye, home run, Jillian Cedia. A 13 0 lead for the Hillers. She absolutely crushed that ball. The Hopkinton Hillers take the win by way of the mercy in the fifth inning, 13 0. Hopkinton advances on to play at fourth seeded Plymouth North Saturday, June 8th. The Hillers are now 14 and 6 on the season. Tom Nappy here with Jillian and Juliana Cedia. Girls, congratulations. You're advancing on in the playoffs. Thank you. And uh, you both had a pretty good game out there as well. Uh, Jillian, what did it feel like to hit that three run homer to walk off with the Mercy win? Um, it felt really good just to like, help my team finish it in the end and just like. It was really hard hit, so it felt good, <laughs> yeah. And Juliana, you pitched a great game as well. Uh, how did you feel pitching in the postseason? And uh, how did you feel facing these Milton hitters? Well, it's good because I've never faced them before, so it was like a brand new, fresh start. And I hadn't, I've been struggling for the past like week, so it was really good to like do good today. It felt good. And about that home run, what'd you see on that pitch? It just seemed like you knew you were going to hit that past the fence. Um, yeah, it felt really good. Um, I've, I always like visualize it before I get them. So I just like had a feeling and it felt really good. And we got the battery combination as well for the Hillers. Uh, what's it been like to play together this season? It's crazy. Like me and Jill have never been on a team before ever. Yeah. And so she like always pushes me really hard to like do my best. So that's really good. Yeah. What do you tell her uh, when you go out there to the pitcher circle for encouragement? Um, I, tell, yells at me. <laughs> I tell her to work hard and I tell her to give everything for the team because we got to do it for them. All right, girls. Uh, so you're advancing to Plymouth North uh, this Saturday. Uh, do you know anything about this Plymouth North team coming up? And are you excited to go out there? Yeah, um, super excited. excited. We don't really know anything don't about anything. them, but I mean, I mean, we play really well when we don't really know anything. Yeah. We just put our heads down and work hard, so I think that's what we're going to go out and do. Mm -hmm. All right, well, congratulations on a great win, and best of luck this Saturday. Thank you. Coach, a walk-off 13-0 win in the first round of the playoffs. Uh, how does it feel to come into the playoffs? I know you probably didn't get the seed that you wanted, but you get a nice win here to start things off against a good young Milton team. Yeah, we were really excited to have a home game, um, and we struggled a little bit at the end of the season, so... Um, we worked out a lot of the kinks yesterday in practice, and I'm really proud of the way they came out and played today. And uh, what was your uh, thoughts about that three-run homer to 
walk off with the Mercy win by Jillian. Oh, I still have goosebumps. I still have goosebumps. That was incredible. Almost dead center. It was fantastic. Great hit. It's a great hit. It certainly was, and Julia, <laughs> it was an unbelievable hit. That might have been the furthest home run I've seen all season. It was definitely, uh, she got every every piece of that ball. It was fantastic. And Juliana pitched a great game as well. What were your thoughts on her performance? She pitched a fantastic game. Uh, she looked a little tired towards the end, but she was able to work through it, and uh, she hit her spots, and her ball was spinning well, and um, I'm really proud of her too. Yeah. So uh, Plymouth North coming up on Saturday. Do you know anything about them yet? Uh, that's what I'm going to go home and do right now. <laughs> I just know they have a really nice school. That's it. <laughs> I don't know anything about them. All right, Coach. We'll let you uh, get home so you can do your research right. for Saturday's game and hopefully many more playoff games to come. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you.